Hi, welcome back to another episode of GH Stitch Club. I'm Mariana, and today we're gonna to be making our crochet holiday stocking. So let's get started. Today we're going to be using this number five weight bulky yarn. I'm using a uh, wool yarn from Stitch and Story. Uh, you'll need a six and a half millimeter crochet hook, a darning needle, which we'll just use to weave in ends, and a pair of scissors. So to begin, we're gonna start with a magic circle, which we create by just wrapping your yarn around your hand and then pulling through a loop. And you'll hold that loop in place with one hand while you chain two, one, two, and now your ma magic loop is started and you'll just double crochet 12 times into that same loop. So to double crochet, you yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over your hook once more, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loop loops on your hook. And that's one double crochet. So we'll just continue in that way 12 times and you're not counting that first chain two. And then once you've crocheted 12 double crochets, this is the magic part of the magic circle, you'll take the tail end and just tighten it and it creates a neat little circle for you to begin. Then we will slip stitch to join into that first stitch here. So just insert your hook under that first stitch yarn over, pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook. And then you have your first round of magic circle, which is 12 double crochets. Then we will chain two, and you'll double crochet one time into the next stitch, and then double crochet two times into the following stitch. So that's one and then two into that same stitch. And this is how we increase to shape the toe of the stocking. So you'll continue in that way, creating one double crochet and then two double crochets all the way around the circle until you have 18 stitches. So when we come back to the end of our circle, we'll just connect it again at the top with a slip stitch. So insert your hook under that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop that's already on your hook. So to weave in this end, we'll just use our darning needle, which is a needle with a really large eye so that you can fit your yarn through and a kind of dull point on the end. So we weave in, we take our darning needle and we'll just thread it underneath a few of these stitches, making sure your circle is pulled tight. And then we'll just double back. So double back on the second stitch here and pull it through. And at that point you can just trim your yarn and you won't have to worry about this end of your toe uh, unraveling while you work. So now we're starting on row three. We have joined with a slip stitch and we'll just chain two and double crochet once into the next stitch, double crochet once into the following stitch, and then we'll double crochet twice into the next stitch. So you're creating one double crochet, one double crochet, and then two double crochets in the same stitch. And that's how we're increasing in row three. So you'll just continue in this pattern until you get back to the beginning of your circle. Okay, so now we're back where we started. And when you're finished with row three, you should have 24 stitches and we'll just join again using a slip stitch and we'll chain two. And then for this round, we'll do three 
single double crochets and then increase. So we'll double crochet one into the first three stitches and then we'll double crochet twice into the fourth stitch. And we'll continue that way around to create your increase. So we've come back around to the beginning of our circle and we'll just join with a slip stitch. And at this point, you'll chain two. So now that we've joined in the round, uh, you should have 30 stitches. And at this point, you'll just double crochet all the way around for eight rows. So from rows five to 12, you'll just double crochet in each stitch with no increases. And this is how we'll form the toe of your stocking. So now we've crocheted our rows to create the toe of the stocking. And at this point, we will chain two. So we are just double crocheting in a row and we're creating 20 double crochets. And this will create the heel of the stocking. So we created 20 double crochets, not including that first chain two. And we're going to leave the remaining 10 stitches unworked. And at this point, we'll just chain two and we're going to just double crochet 20 times across from rows 14 to 20 and that will create the heel of our stocking. So now we're entering our final row for the heel and you'll see I'm almost at the end of my yarn. So I'll just show you how you'll add in another ball of yarn. So I'll create a couple double crochets and my yarn is pretty short here. So I have two loops left on my hook. I'll just pull out my new yarn for my new ball of yarn and you'll loop over your hook and just pull through. And then I like to make one more double crochet to kind of hold it in place and then go back and give your two ends a loose tie. You can go back at the end and secure it a little bit more. You can go back in the at the end and weave in those tails but for now, this loose tie will keep it in place while you continue, you continue your row. So for this stocking, I usually use two balls of yarn. You might want to get three just in case you want to make your stocking a little bit bigger, but you could probably make it with two. And I like to use a contrast yarn at the end to make a monogram, which I'll show you how to do at the end. Okay, so we have finished our rows for the heel. And at this point, we will just fold your stocking in half and you'll see how it's starting to take shape. So you can see your toe and then your heel worked here. So we'll just join the heel at the corner here by slip stitching. And now we'll start to work up to create the rest of our stocking. So at this point, we'll chain two and then work 12 double crochets around the top of your heel here. And you'll just kind of space them out evenly. You'll see that there's some natural places where it makes sense to work a double crochet. So we'll work in here, just insert your hook double crochet. We're not counting the chain two. So you'll work 12 double crochets along the top of your heel until you reach your toe. Just make sure to space out your double crochets evenly. So now you can see we have 12 double crochets worked along the top of the heel. And we're at the point where the heel meets the toe. So we'll skip this first stitch here and into this stitch that starts the top of the toe, we'll work a single crochet. So that's just inserting your hook, yarning over, pulling through a loop, 
So you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through again. Then you'll continue working double crochet along the top of your toe. And that should be eight double crochets until you get to the next side. So work eight double crochets along the top of your toe. When you come back to the point where your toe meets the heel, you'll create another single crochet into that next stitch, skip the stitch in the corner, and then continue making your 12 double crochets along the top of your heel, making sure to space them out evenly. So now we've come back around to the heel, to the edge of our heel, and we'll connect with a slip stitch. And once we're done working our stocking, we'll go back and seam this open edge of the heel. But for now, we're going to continue just working up our stocking. So chain two, and then work your 12 double crochets along the top of your heel and we're going to skip that one single crochet that we made in the corner. We're going to continue along the top of the toe, so double crochet eight along the top of the toe, and then we'll continue back on the other side with the top of the heel. So we've worked our round. We're back to where we started this row and we'll join with another slip stitch. So now we're at the point where we're gonna work the top of our stocking. And to create this, you'll just double crochet in every stitch all the way around. You should have 32 stitches. So to begin, you will chain two, and then just double crochet in each stitch all the way along the top. So you'll keep working your stocking until it's about 12 inches tall and just keep working in pattern, creating a double crochet in each stitch along the top. So now I'm pretty much at the end of my yarn and my stocking is about 12 inches tall. So I have joined the last row with a slip stitch and I'm just going to make the loop, the hanging loop, by just creating a chain. So we'll yarn over, pull through to create our chain for the hanging loop and you'll probably make it about four inches so that's about as long as we need our chain to be so we'll pull through and tighten it then I'll just shorten this tail a little bit and we'll use our darning needle here and just weave that tail end in to secure it. You can make a knot and then just weave in that tail so that you don't see it. There's no exact science for weaving in the tail. Everybody kind of has a different method, so you wanna double back a couple times and then you can trim your yarn. So now we have the hanging loop for our stocking and to seam our heel we'll take a length of yarn and our needle and slide it underneath those first two stitches on the heel and you can tie a knot here and just tuck the tail into the inside for now. Then you'll weave your yarn underneath the first leg of the next loop and over the leg of the loop, corresponding loop on the opposite side. So just work under over. And there's so many different ways to seam. If you there's a method that you like to use, feel free to use that. So now you can see our Heel is seamed, just pass your remaining yarn to the inside of your stocking.
and you can turn your stocking inside out a little bit here to weave in those tail ends on the heel seam. So now you have your finished stocking and I'll show you a really quick and easy way to create a monogram on it, but you could use patches or pom-poms or embroidery. You can get really creative with this. So to create our monogram, we're going to use a yarn in a contrasting color. I like using a bulky or a super bulky yarn for this. So just cut off a length of your yarn and we'll use our darning needle again for this. Just tie a knot in the end and we'll weave this in from the inside. So just pass your needle from the inside to the out. And then at this point, you just lay your yarn down in the shape of the letter you'd like to make. So. We're doing an S for my son, Sydney today. And then pass the yarn to the inside and we'll leave this loose for now and come back and secure it later. And I have a green thread uh, in a contrasting tone. So just secure the end of your thread underneath your letter here. and then we'll just whip stitch our yarn into place. You'll just tie a knot on the inside to secure the thread and then do the same with the yarn. With the yarn, we'll use our darning needle again and just do a quick knot to secure it into place here. So there you have your finished stocking. We would love to see what you create and comment down below and let us know what you'd like to create next. Hope you enjoyed this episode of GH Stitch Club.